Alright, what's up guys? It's me, Quinton, Quint Beastwood. And this right here is one of the newest members of the HD Muscle family. What's going on? Alright, yeah. what's your name? <laughs> what's up y'all? My name's uh, Antoine Hamlet, aka High Top Hamlet. I'm um, here with the young beast. He's not, he doesn't look young. But um, yeah, we're about, to, we're about to have fun right now, about to kick in this arm workout. I wanted to do something else, like legs are back, you know. That real, real, but we we about to blast out these arms. Ah, I, I need arms like these, you know. So we 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 we, we, we gonna rock with the arms of that. All right, so I'm gonna start, you know, with a little mix of both pre's, some ultra and elite. Now, what's I gonna do for you, B? Uh, it's about to take me to ascended levels of greatness. Oh, word. Yeah. If I want to be like you, that's this, 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 I have to take two, two, what is that, one scoop? Just one scoop of each. Just one, one scoop of each. Yeah, just one scoop of each. What that's flavor something. is that? This is sour gummy, bro. That's a sour gummy? You yeah. missing sour gummies or what? Yo, that's that, that, that's that beast wolf flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that in there. So I'm going with the Carb HD. Why? Because I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, my body tends to uh, lose weight as I work out. So I find having carbs during my workout um, allows me to sustain my energy, glycogen stores, all that good stuff so I can keep growing. I'll never catch that, but you know, classic physique, you know, my, the nice little pretty guys, you know. I make sure I get my EAAs. Um, again, I don't wanna be losing muscle while I'm training. So I like to make sure I'm getting in my protein. How you feeling? Why you, you kicking it in? No, I'm just taking my time. Oh, you take yeah, time. yeah, that's what's happening. So how do we know each other? So actually, before I did my first show, the first like people or person that I reached out to for coaching was actually Antoine and his wife Sylvia. They have a company called Fit Life Athletics. So I actually reached out to them. Now, the reason why it didn't work out is because my my ass was broke. You know, I was like 19 or 20. So they, they hit me back with the price, which wasn't much, but you know, I just, I just didn't have it. But uh, you know, so we started following each other ever since that day. And then uh, you, you, you can take it from there. Um, I remember when I saw him first, it was after he did his first show. I think it was like 2015? Yeah. With, uh, yeah. with, our, with our, our crew. And um, I saw his physique and I was, I was shook. I'm not gonna lie. I was okay. actually like, wow, I'm gonna meet this kid on stage one day. Cause he's just so tall and even, just how proportionate he was and natural, it was just, it just blew my mind. We never did end up competing, but we supported each other on like literally every single show. And um, that's basically how, and then from there, we would work out together. Where any time there was a show, we would hit the gym together. And then from there, we just carried on the bodybuilding. It, it, it went past bodybuilding to the point where now it was just like, I literally call him like my brother. So quarantine workouts. Gotta get creative. All right. All right. All right. What's the rep range looking like? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, no, I'm just, I need to like feel how like difficult you. it's gonna get as time goes, you. you know? I got, you. I got you. Cause it's not like, I don't see a weight or nothing. So you, it's like, it's hard to gauge. The more you move back and forth, yeah, the harder it gets. So, uh, so what, what he thinks is gonna happen, he thinks we're gonna go workout for workout. He thinks I choose one, he chooses one. But really, it's my workout, all right? Or on my stomping grounds. Yo, this man didn't wanna train. <laughs> Yo! See, the whole thing was, I want to do back, right? Or legs. But, he didn't wanna do that. So now, that he won this nice little battle. <laughs> he feels, look, listen to him, this is how happy he is, bro. This guy is so happy. Yeah, arm day's a good day, man. You know, arm day's all right, all right. I need to improve my arms anyway, so I need this. Yo, this ain't too bad, bro. No, no, it's not bad. Yo, my triceps are burning. All right, that's 20. Hold that 90 degrees. So we're gonna do, um, just to get the pump going a lot quicker, we're gonna hold one at 90 degrees, we've seen it before. But on this hand, I want you to come down like in a hammer and completely rotate, leading with your pinky. Okay. Which arm are you holding? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I haven't made that decision yet. Oh my so God. hold it and then do curls. I degrees and you're curling with the opposite hand for 12 to 15 right. reps. Okay. <laughs>
Bonjour Laval. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. You just said bye to me. <laughs> no, I didn't. You did. I tried. Bonjour. Bonjour. Yeah, it's good bye. You can't get that on camera now. <laughs> he fucked up. <laughs> Like you and I grow up, bud. You already grew up. I know, man. When I get older. <laughs> heavyweights? Right. So Tell what, about heavy so weights. The whole just isometrics, right? Isometric holes. So the thing is for me, I don't do much isometrics. And uh, so when I do it, I obviously am not gonna like you know, my ego's not gonna like take over. I'm not gonna try and do like 45 pounds. So I kept it at like 25 pounds. Mm -hmm. I got a pretty good pump from it. Yeah, um, muscle mind connection and time and attention, I find are the two primary things needed to build quality muscle and prevent injury. A lot of bodybuilders, a lot of amateurs, I find now that are coming up in the ranks, it's very easy to get caught up in the Oh my gosh, big heavy sets. You have to pull set you did five. That stuff's old school, man. Time and attention. If it works for you, don't get it twisted. If it works for you and you have good form and your tempo, everything's controlled, lift your weights. But if you don't need it, don't do it. Take the ego out the door. Because before you know it, by the time you even have potential to do something, you're already injured and every joint's already broken up. So train smarter, not harder. What's up, dog? I want to use the flat bench for this. <laughs> keeping the time and attention on your triceps and to really avoid hitting the chest is to make sure when you come down really try to focus on flexion so it's almost like you're trying to do a bicep bicep curl when you come down and that'll really help to put emphasis on the stretch on the tricep on the way down and when you push up you almost want to focus you almost want to imagine that you're about to lock up your elbow so the tension stays at the elbow and you don't end up pushing Recruiting a lot of chess, little tip. I got you. isolation get the stretch um, key thing that a lot, a lot of people do you don't want your tricep to be on the top of this because then when you curl your foot so I'm talking about <laughs> no like you don't want it to be where yeah <laughs> move oh. Oh, my bad. So, so bad. Bad. make sure your arm stays down and relax so you want to stay here because even when your arm comes up at the top of the squeeze it's still fighting under resistance a lot of people like to lean back and come here your forearms ever parallel to gravity you're doing absolutely nothing is that true you call sign you call sign tick tock time is falling silence you go mileage tick tock money from last time get ready for tick tock pilot and if you notice how he's holding a dumbbell on an angle like that because it's really emphasis on trying to make sure that you're getting rotation as you're coming up really help to isolate that peak that
to the head Would've thought I worked for Wall Street Lately I've been seeing red I just do seated double arm overheads. Okay. So like not like, like no support because we don't have that kind of bench. Yeah, you can but do here. Watch, load it's not. Oh, you right there. True. But I've been doing this, and I do like the. Come on, I princess. Like God, come on, princess. Do your thing. That's actually easier with more support. It's easier. I don't want no core. <laughs> I'm trying to build my triceps, man. I need bigger arms. So, we're doing uh, dumbbell tricep overhead tricep extensions. Uh, gonna do like three sets of eight to twelve. Or okay. if I can get more, I'll do more. Gotcha. You know, at this point, the muscles are warm, so I'm going right into the heavy sets. I'm not doing any like uh, build up sets. Like how hard do you go? Just not too hard, just a little. All right, just do it. Yeah. If anything, just don't hold it that close to your face. All right. Yeah. Now what? Just keep smelling, keep breathing closer until you can get it. Sweet, All right. Yo, that smells like ammonia, B. It smells like what? Like. It's ammonia. It, it is, is. that's what I said. Oh! Yeah. All right. So you know what it is. We're like boxing and shit, right? <laughs> Damn. Okay, I'm up. Glad you're awake now. Yeah, for real. Glad you could join the rest So, we're about to do relay uh, bicep curls. I don't know why. There's probably another name for it. But basically, I do one rep, he does oh, put one the rep. Clip on. hey, what? Put the clip on. What? You put the clip on. You put the clip on. So, I'm trying to talk to the yo, people. Put, yo, put the damn clip on. And what are you doing, chill? Bro, I'm. Yo, anyway, you said you were gonna do so it. we about to do relay, right? So, basically, I do one rep, he does one rep. We go all the way up to 10. Sweet and simple. You ready? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right, go ahead. You start, dog. Actually, no, no, you go on this side. What? Who makes a deal? My, my house, my rules. <laughs> is, this, is this your good side? Uh, the other side's your good side? They're both my good side. All right. We take a step outwards because this little square is like, you know. Just oh me my out. gosh, quick. Yes. Hey, I'll start. Here you go. One. I just did one. Here we go. Two. Oh, the cute couples workout. Pause. Oh, okay, no, I'm <laughs>
Oh, ja. 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 Oh, Gott sei Dank. Here we go. Your beard is uneven. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Let's go. So my biceps are weak as you can see. I'm already burnt out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yep. 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 Come on now. Go for Windsor. That's for Windsor. You from Windsor? <laughs> he loves to chirp me about that. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I know all the muscles ain't for lugs. Come on. There we go. Fucking hell. I feel like that's not 10, dog. That was 10. Was that 10? You can rewatch it in the video. Was that the back? Yeah, let me know. I know that was 10. That wasn't 10. I, was I, know, I know that was 10. That was 9. That was 10. God. You said you can't count. I felt it. <clears throat> My muscles, no reps. <clears throat> felt like 10. <laughs> I need you, bro. <laughs> this is why I need music. This is breath. That's why I need. Mean, I got hot breath, bro. No, no, but it's just like it's like it's, I was getting punched in the face by by the exhale. So I'm like, whoo, 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 just ducking that. That's good. That's good. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That was fine. See? <sighs> All right, what's up, guys? So it's your boy High Top Antoine Hamlet. The big boy beast wood. Anyways, man, I hope you guys really enjoyed the arm workout. Um, really did the most that we can with the little bit that we had and still got a pretty crazy pump as you can see. I'm just full and fluffy. It's all about the big man right here. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you like it, you know, hit them up, let us know. Let the family know and then uh, hopefully we hit you guys with some with, with, with that real real right like a leg workout or something <laughs> or like back, right? <laughs> you know if you have uh, any videos that you want to see us do make sure to comment it down below make sure to subscribe and like Okay, and make sure to share as well. We are out Peace. Okay, so I had a I saw like some of the comments I've been getting messages uh, some people want to see a physique update, so I'm gonna show you what we're working with right now. My weight is 276 in the morning. Okay. I don't know. Like, who's trying it? You alright? You alright? Right. You alright? Yeah, you good, you good. Hit the pose.
Cole? Abdullah. Abdullah, yeah. It's my favorite. Ah. I like how you really keep your posture up on your front thigh ab. I try. You don't do this, but you, you stay that, very that upright. That was that old habit, but yeah, no, maybe that looks way better when you do you that. Maybe you taught me that. I don't know. Maybe. No, that was really that. I, actually, I was looking at your front thigh. That's really nice. Thank you. You're very upright. Oh, most yes. people they do this. Yeah, and yeah. It destroys the whole pose. Yes. Being able to flex your. <laughs> Twenty five, man. Oh, it's freaking crazy. He actually used to train me for a bit before, like. Three years ago was it? Two years ago? Core stuff. Controlling the scapula basically, which is extremely common in almost any any training genre, powerlifting, whatever. Controlling your scapula, really the, the, the better you are at controlling your scapula is really gonna determine the quality of contraction you'll be able to get in your back and actually any upper body movement for that, even legs. When you're stabilizing, all that comes from scap control. So anyways. 